Hey everyone, welcome to Crafty Friday. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a chevron necklace. If you don't want to work with beads, don't worry. I'm also going to show you how to make a couple of styles with duct tape and with polymer clay. To make a chevron necklace like the one I'm wearing, you'll want to follow this pattern. You're going to use 11 head pins. One for each column of beads. I'm using glass seed beads that I got from Michaels, but you can get them from any craft store. I put 12 beads on this first head pin. On the second one, I'm going to put 14. And every time, you're going to start with black or whatever color is on the bottom. The pin should look something like this once you have accomplished the pattern with the beads. Now grab some jewelry making pliers and cutters. It's time to make a loop at the top of each pin. To do this, use some round nose pliers. Clamp the thinnest part of the pliers as close to the top bead as possible. Then you're going to bend this part back and around the tip of the pliers. And then keep going until you form a loop. At this point you're going to clip off the excess wire. And you can use your flat nose pliers to reshape the loop. So I push down on it to get rid of the gap. Repeat the looping step for every single pin. Here's a few more examples of what my loops look like before I trim the excess wire. Finally, I have completed all of my loops. Take an eye pin, put a bead on, then put your shortest beaded pin on. After that, put on a black bead or whatever color you want. Put on your next pin followed by another black bead and then another pin and keep repeating that step until you're done. Once those are all on the eye pin, you're going to form another loop that's as similar to this loop as possible, and then you're going to cut off the excess just like you did with all the pins. Finally, you're going to attach chain to either side by opening up a jump ring, threading the chain on, and then putting the other end through this loop and shutting it. To attach a clasp, you would split one link in your chain, and then you would attach a jump ring to each side. Beautiful. Here are a couple of clay pendants that I made using a chevron type pattern. I'll give you the basic gist of how to make these, but it's not going to be as in-depth as the beaded pendant that you just learned how to make. For this style of clay charm, you're going to get a plain metal pendant. Then I place a white triangle of clay into the pendant. You can use translucent liquid Sculpey to help hold this clay in. But if you use too much, it will bubble out, which I learned the hard way, and then I had to sand it down. To make a gradient slash ombre effect with your clay, you're going to start with a chunk of white and a chunk of dark or medium clay. You're going to add a little piece of the darker clay to the white every single time. And you can even add black to that darkest color if you want to continue with your shading. Then I roll out a thin strip, cut it in half, place the ends down near the triangle, Trim off the excess with a tool and push it down to get rid of gaps. Then you're going to repeat that step with every single color of clay until your pendant is full. Once it's full, you bake it and then after you let it cool, you can glaze it. For a pendant like this one, you're going to flatten out some clay and then cut it into some zigzag pieces with either a tool or a blade of some sort. Then you can use an eye pin or a head pin to poke those holes. After you poke the holes, go ahead and bake according to the baking instructions on your package of clay. After baking, grab some acrylic paint and you can paint on your design. Once the paint is dry, you can make it shiny by adding Sculpey Gloss Glaze. Finally, once the glaze is completely dry, you can use jump rings or wire or eye pins to make loops. The final way to make a chevron pendant would be out of duct tape. So you're going to take a strip and you're going to fold it onto itself. And then I just cut that piece off. Use scissors to cut either zigzag shapes or triangular shapes like these. Then use some type of sharp object to poke holes. Then you can join pieces of duct tape together with jump rings like I did with the clay pendant. In a future Crafty Friday video, I'll show you more of my completed chevron pendants. But for now, this is it. So hopefully you have gotten enough ideas. Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you all how to make a gumball machine with a glass globe. So let's check out the people who sent in their photos. On Facebook, this gumball machine charm picture was sent in. She didn't have a glass globe, so she used the design of my older gumball machine charm. Then on Instagram, we have these colorful gumball machine charms. 
If you would like a chance to be featured in an upcoming Crafty Friday video, check out all of these links here to my Facebook fan page, Instagram, and Twitter. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because I put up new crafty videos every single Friday. And I also put some random videos throughout the week sometimes. Craft videos usually, you know, because this is a craft channel. But anyway, you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Bye! Welcome to the wind show. Stop it, wind. Bye.